Hi guys, what's up it's Bella, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know I took a little break for the past few weeks. I traveled to LA and then honestly I had family and my boyfriend visited so I just kind of was soaking in that time. But I am returning with a huge haul because typically when I take a long break I come back with my favorite video which is a haul and it's also your favorite video. I've already posted so so much haul content on my TikTok and Instagram, so be sure to go follow me over there. But everything is linked down below for you guys. And a disclaimer, I'm not bragging. This is just what I do. This is my life and I'm just sharing it with you guys. I'm very blessed to be in these positions to be able to do this for you guys. And I'm very thankful and all glory to God. But without further ado, let's get into it. We are gonna start off strong with two things that I purchased in LA. I was there for work. I did two vlogs, I believe, a San Francisco vlog and then an LA vlog. So if you guys wanna see more content, definitely watch those. I showed some behind the scenes footage of purchasing this baby right here, which is my Van Cleef and Arpels necklace. That is this necklace that I have on right here. It is the Mother of Pearl One Motif Van Cleef Necklace. It's a vintage Alhambra and I love it. This is a necklace that I wanted for so long and it was between this one and there was like a smaller one but also the green Malachite one. This is what the green one looks like and I absolutely love it but honestly it needs like a lot more care and right now at this point in my life I am just not willing to take off really any of my jewelry every single day just to shower. So I wanted to wait on that so I got this one that is just like less maintenance and I don't really have to worry about it too much but I love it it is very special I've again wanted this for so long and I love buying jewelry in different pieces of the country because I like being able to have a story behind it so I can pass it down to other people and typically like what I wear is like there's a story behind it like I have a story behind all of these necklaces now I have a story behind this bracelet kind of this one as well and then all of my jewelry I have a story behind it like where I purchased it from and I feel like for me it just adds to making it so special. My client advisor at Van Cleef was so amazing and it was such a good experience and I just like love being able to say that I purchased this on Rodeo because I'd always wanted to go to Rodeo so for me to be able to save up to a splurge there was just like a dream come true. So very happy about this definitely recommend getting one of these but make it special don't just get it because add some like value to your jewelry by having a story behind it and i made my first hermes purchase and this was not i always get it confused not san antonio texas san diego california i don't know why i get this confused um yes San Diego, California, they had a beautiful outdoor mall. I think it was called like Westfield something. And we went there a few times and I went to Hermes and I had my eyes on these sandals for a hot minute. And then out of luck, she literally had one pair left in my size and they were sold out everywhere else. So it was luck. It was meant to be. Here are the sandals that I purchased. I will have the name of them up on the screen. Now they do have an original sandal which look like this. So there's a huge difference in the sandals. Now don't get me wrong, these other ones look great but they don't look like that supportive on your feet. And I also like, everyone has those and I like to try my best to be different. So I was like, let me get a different kind. So these are a bit different. They just came out with these. There is going to be an extra double shot here. You can Velcro it, make it tighter, make it looser, whatever you want. The bed of the sandal is actually a lot thicker, which I prefer. I like a little bit more height. My boyfriend says that these are like gladiator sandals or something. Like he makes fun of them when I wear them, but I think they're pretty freaking cool. I've gotten so much use out of them. I've actually fully broken them in. They fit my foot perfectly now. I'm like, now I need every other color because I love these sandals. And I never, ever was a sandal girl until this year. Like I'm just realizing that I can't wear sneakers everywhere. And if it was up to me, I'd wear my new balances with anything and everything but I can't so I have to kind of branch out and so sandals are where my heart is at right now and then in this little small box from Hermes I purchased the bracelets <laughs> I love this thing. I got the white with the gold. I was actually contemplating the pink one, but like, I feel like for me, I just, I aim towards going safe and classy. And for me, just getting the white and gold was classy, but I definitely want to build up my collection with these because I think they're great little pieces to add to your wrist, to your little stack. Now that I have two, two bracelets, I need to get some more. But right now, this is what I'm rocking with. But yeah, this is just like a classic bracelet. And you push the H to open it and then to close it. Who was going to tell me that American Eagle has been popping out the clothes lately and the good stuff and I'm happy about it. I also just realized that one of my palm trees has another palm tree growing out of it and I never noticed that before. That is so peculiar looking. Anyways, I purchased this stuff at the Sarasota Mall where my parents live. It's a cute little tube dress, but it's a really nice like 
cotton material fabric that's a little ribbed this dress is so adorable on it's very flattering but it's also quite comfy and i love it a lot it's just perfect love the color love the length and i love it in it oh my gosh guys the biggest thing about it it was 40 bucks that's unheard of like that is such a good price for a dress that's good quality like 40 bucks like i feel like in this economy like that's not heard of so very happy i found it at a very good price i love it oh and i cannot leave the store without this one this one's gorgeous it is a cute little white summer dress it's got some tears to it but the top of it is like a white crochet like how adorable is that how beautiful this one's very flattering on me and i really like it and it's just like the perfect summer spring dress and then they had an airy connected to it so i picked up this just little like short sleeve oversized top to wear with my leggings looks like this sorry i think my camera just went out for a sec but yeah love this shirt i have become a little bit more aware of how i show my body just with like me growing spiritually and also just with like being in a relationship and i don't need to show my butt all the times so having a shirt that helps cover that a little bit is helpful and I don't always have to have like skin tight clothing on hence my oversized flannel so yeah I got this and I feel like this is gonna help me kind of transition into like being a little bit more modest with myself and like honoring God and also honoring my relationship in this Louis Vuitton bag we have not one but two bags that I purchased and I can totally do a little what's in my bag coming up once I get some use out of it but I know you guys know how much use I get out of my high-rise bum bag I have mentioned it in videos I have done videos on it it is just like the bag of my life I love it but I will say it is a little big and also sometimes that brown print doesn't go with everything but I've made it work until I saw new little mini bum bags now these mini bum bags are beautiful and I love them so much and I got both colors because why not? I get so much use out of my other ones I was like I might as well just do it. So here we are into bag number one. I've already done an unboxing on my Instagram and stuff that's why it's not in the dust bag. So this is the black one. I love this one. This is definitely my first choice. Comes with this beautiful strap right here to where you can elevate the bag and put it over your shoulder and take it as a little nighttime bag but if you open the inside of the bag you get a whole nother strap and this is where it like kind of turns into a mini bum bag because you can put it across your shoulder or let it hang longer on your shoulder or it actually can go around your waist i know that's crazy but it can because the original like high-rise bum bag that i have cannot go around your waist but this one can Here's a bit of an up close of the bag. I am just so in love with it. I think it's gorgeous. It really is beautiful and I'm gonna get so much use out of it. It's not gonna carry as much as the other bum bag, but that was one of the reasons I wanted this one because I started realizing like maybe I want something smaller, but something that's still practical. And then of course we have the white slash cream version. It's definitely more of a cream. This one's also very, very gorgeous. I love it. It is gonna be the same exact bag, comes with the same exact straps, but it's just gonna be that cream color, which I think is beautiful. Like, oh my gosh it's so cute how can you not love it i can 100 percent stand by the fact that i truly believe like i could get rid of all my bags and i could keep just my high-rise bump bags and these little bump bags and like be perfectly fine because i have like really like started to realize if i'm gonna spend money on a bag i do want it to be practical to some sort like of course it's fun to have those fun pieces but honestly the older i'm getting the more like i want something that's beautiful but practical we're gonna move on to this huge Aritzia bag because there's a lot of stuff in here. This is the sweater that I got. I'm just like going on the whole theme of like being modest and covering up a little bit more. So this is the Reverence Light Birch little cardigan. I love it. I wore this in my LA vlog, but I believe it was, it was my mom's 100%. I wore it to dinner one night and I'm gonna put it on the screen for you guys to see, but it was my mom's and I was like, I really need to get my own. So I got my own and I really like it. It's great, it's universal, it's adorable and it covers. I feel like it's a universal experience where us girls like we can have five different white mini dresses but they're all for different vibes so i have another one this is the martine white dress this one's a lot different than that other one i mean not a lot different but like see the top's different it covers a little bit more maybe this is more for church the other one maybe not so much because it has like the little slit you can see the start of the boobs but this one's cute it's still a mini dress and i really love it i love aritzia's clothing and i love this detail right here with this like small bow 
I wore this dress in a recent Instagram post, but it was the orange version, which I wore to my nephew's first birthday party. And I got it in black because this is just a great dress. I have such a hard time finding, I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but a midi dress that is not too long and it has a good top part and it doesn't make me look huge. And this dress does just that. Like it makes me look good. I was gonna say gr good and great, so I said good, but it makes me look really good. So I purchased it in black as well. That's what the top looks like. And it's like a really nice stretchy material and then it goes into the flow of the dress. And I really enjoy it. It's gonna last me a long time. It's perfect for a lot of occasions. And then last but not least, we have a just simple little slip silk dress. This is the Wilfred line. And the name of this dress is the only slip midi in the shade black and i also have it in like a beautiful champagne shade but it's simple and that's what i like simple modest classy is my vibe next up on to aloe i just picked up one little set the shade of this whole set is going to be called botanical green so i have the airlift double triangle bra and it looks like this i got this for more of like my high intensity workouts because your girl's a double d so i have to have like that extra support up there so i got this and i really like it and then i got this seven eighths airlift legging and i love like the sheen and shine on these these are also really beautiful size medium in the bottoms and size medium and the top all right we're on our second to last purchase this one is from prada these are actually for my mom but i'm gonna put them in this haul because she told me to and i'm gonna show them to you guys i obviously opted to get these hermes ones because i like these a little bit more but we got these and we're gonna share them because you know why not because sometimes i might want to wear these instead but they're similar here is what they look like so they are going to be made out of napa leather I love the little Prada sign right here. Love the height of the sole, like shoe bed. And also the strap is really nifty and super cute. So yes, these are similar in a way, but they're also quite different. And it's nice that we can share both styles. So that is what these Prada ones look like. And then here are obviously the Hermes ones. Oh my gosh, and now we're moving on to like the huge bag, the biggest thing that I purchased in this video. And it is my dream duffel bag. I didn't know it was my dream duffel bag until I saw it, which sometimes that happens. It's, it's It'd be like that sometimes. This is such a huge box. It literally takes up the whole camera. <laughs> it's huge. It just opened on its own when I set it down. I'm gonna get some more details on this bag so I can give you guys the rundown. All right, here is the beautiful bag that I purchased. This is the Louis Vuitton Keep All 45 bag. I love it. So it's like the small kind of like duffel bag. As people would call it, it comes with this extra strap right here, which you can put across your shoulder or on your shoulder for traveling or transporting. I love the color of the inside of this bag. It's like a beautiful Kelly green. You've got one huge zipper pocket and honestly so much space in here for tons of stuff. I'm gonna read from my phone just so I don't make anything and say it wrong because I want to honor this artist. So this is part of House's collaboration with the Chinese artist Sun Yitian. I think that's how you say it. It's a classic keep all 45 travel bag made from monogram reverse canvas with a smooth calfskin pouch in the shape of her distinctive bunny with green microfiber lining on the inside and it's trimmed with natural cowhide leather. And it says it's as good looking as it is practical, which I agree, this is gonna be an amazing practical bag. I love the color of the cowhide leather when you get Louis Vuitton bags, but I also really love how they wear beautifully and they turn like a little caramel color. I know my boyfriend was like, why is your bag dirty? I'm like, literally that's how cowhide leather like wears. It just wears beautifully. So yeah, this is the bag. I love it. I love the bunny on the front. It is gorgeous. And also something that I got done at Louis Vuitton, it's like free of charge with really anything. I got my initials hot stamped in the fuchsia color to match the bunny. So it was a little bit more personal, but this is a great bag. It's already like going for crazy amounts on StockX. So I'm really happy that I was able to purchase it and add some value to my collection with a piece like that is just so, so beautiful. You guys should definitely check out other pieces in this collection from this artist because beautiful, like amazing fun pieces that are really just going to add again, value to your collection. All right, you guys, that is it for this super huge shopping haul. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a lot of fun to film and I hope that you were able to just kind of escape from your world and just kind of like sit down and like relax and just watch 
my quote of the day is do not forget to invite god in both the good and the bad days it's important to like honor god when good things are happening but also honor him when you feel like your world is crashing down i feel like most times like myself included i continue to pray like when i want something when i'm in like a bad situation but when something good is happening it's also important to honor him because you want to show him honor in all aspects of your life and not just when you need him but also thank him for what he's done and like give him glory for that all right i love you guys so much i will see you guys in my very next video and be sure to check the links down below for everything that I talked about in this video. Bye guys!